There's a passage in the Vinaya when the Buddha goes back home after his awakening. And his wife sends Rahula, his son, who at that point was probably six or seven. He said, go ask your father for his, your inheritance. And so Rahula approaches the Buddha. And his first comment is, your shade, your shadow is pleasant. And it's on a day like this, when it's really hot outside, that you appreciate what that, that means. The shadow is protection. That's symbolic of the protection that we get as we take the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha as a refuge. When we look for happiness, not so much in physical pleasures, but in terms of qualities of the mind. Wisdom, purity, compassion. The Buddha developed those qualities in his search for happiness, searching for happiness in a wise way. And then we take refuge by seeing that he found happiness that way. That's a good way to find happiness. Let's try that way too. Because everybody in the world wants happiness. And there's so many different examples of how happiness might be found. There are people who find happiness in power, people who find happiness in wealth. But if you don't look very carefully, it seems like they really are happy. If you look more carefully, you would think people would look more carefully. After all, happiness is something that really is serious. You can put a lot of effort into your life, and if you put effort into the wrong places, you're going to be miserable. And so you should look carefully at the people who claim to be happy. Are they really happy? And we look at the Buddha and his noble disciples, and we say, okay, those are good examples, because they really are happy all the way through. Because the happiness of the Dharma doesn't disappoint. The happiness of wealth disappoints. The happiness of power disappoints. You see what happens to people who fall out of power. You see what happens to people who lose their wealth. But when you gain the Dharma, there's nothing lost, and you don't lose it. And it is your protection, it is your shadow, and times when the world outside is really hot. So develop a nice shade for yourself as you practice. Remind yourself again that true happiness is found in the qualities of the mind. We may have to put up with some physical discomfort, but it's more than worth the happiness we gain in return.